Juventus. And, and Richie, looking at, you know, when you look down that, that Tottenham team sheet, compare it to the Juventus one. Juventus, very experienced, mm -hmm. two out of the last three finals. The Tottenham players, all fantastic players, but this is, this is a huge night for them and their development, as we've said. Is there a danger that the lack of experience of an event like this could work against them? I think there's, there's always a danger, and probably more so with certain players than others, but I think what these players have done as a group, particularly this season, you know, Dortmund, Real Madrid, the first leg of this one, um, they've given them really, really impressive kind of professional, mature performances, and they've been getting a lot of plaudits, and rightfully so, and you can try and imagine the belief and the confidence within the dressing room, so I wouldn't have any fears about them all on the basis of their age, and what we've seen of them doing, they're, they're rightfully going into this confidently, but I think you're up against the Juventus side, you know, there's, there's champions six years in a row and a lot of talk in the, in, in the last week about clubs' legacies in Europe and, you know, do you have to succeed and you have to be at this stage for a long time in order to go on and win it. And you're talking about the Juventus team, like you've said, they've been here, they've been to finals, they're very, very experienced. So I, I can't wait for this game. Jim mentioned Tottenham's attacking stats earlier. I spoke about Juve's defensive stats. So toss of a coin for me at this stage. Mm. Really can't wait. And, and Damien, Wembley Stadium, like it's a sellout tonight, what, close to 90,000, maybe a little less for a Champions League game. But, you know, they're unbeaten there in 15 matches. This was a problem for them last season. It's not now. Yeah, I think the, the Wembley hoodoo's been banished. I think they've settled in. Albeit they'll be moving back to White Hart Lane soon, but listen, you mentioned are they inexper inexperienced. If they are inexperienced players on nights like this, this is where they become experienced players. If it, they're a good team, this is where they become a top team. So I think it's the most intriguing second leg of this round, but I still expect Spurs to go through. So did he learn by doing? Learn yeah, by 100%. Playing. Well, you, if you keep losing in the last 16, you never get experience, yeah. do you? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think Damien is spot on. Uh, this is when you, uh, the manager said it, this is when you make history. But they strike me as a humble bunch because in, in recent months when they were winning by two or three goals, they never changed the way they played. They never took anything for granted. They never got complacent. Um, and I think this is a, a, a really a down-to-earth bunch and they don't strike me as a team that's uh, that's faced or that's uh, getting nervous under pressure. I think this is a huge opportunity. They all know this. Um, and I fancy Spurs to get a job done, to finish the job tonight um, and win that game. And you're the same, Danny? Yeah, listen, regardless whether it's a win or a nil all or one all, I really do fancy them go through. I think they'll dominate them again, uh, much like in Turin, as I touched on earlier. Um, listen, They've got history, Juve have history. Uh, Juve's been to two of the last three finals, so they're a big, big team, but that's how much confidence I have in them, and I think people are starting to, to cotton on that they are a top, top team. I, expect, I do honestly expect them to go through. Well